Halloween everybody. Today is a little Halloween special. If you can see already that my costume is Marnie Piper from Halloween Town for this Halloween 2021. I actually went to the real Halloween Town. I did a full entire vlog for you guys. So sit back, relax, get cozy. You've never seen Halloween Town. You need to add it to your list. And then Halloween Town 2 is where my costume in this one is from. I wanted you to enjoy this vlog on this Halloween if you're feeling lonely and you have something to look forward to. I love you guys so much and I really appreciate seriously how much hype you guys give me during this month. I enjoy all the comments, likes, and subscribes. I really appreciate it. So let's get right into the vlog. As most of you guys know, I love to make my own costumes, at least semi-homemade. So for this costume, since Marnie Piper's costume is not sold at, you know, your local party city, I definitely had to do a lot of homemade touches. I made the cape, the hat, I hand drew the design on the shirt, and then I made the skirt, as well as I made a talisman, which was really fun. It definitely adds to the festiveness of the whole costume making process. I put on Halloween Town 2 to get me in the mood because that's where this costume is inspired from. But I just really enjoyed this process and the stars and the moon are key to Marnie Piper. I'm about to see the pumpkin. I see the city hall that was in the movie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is literally on my bucket list. I'm in Halloween Town as we speak. Look at the city hall. Literally the whole town. There's a pumpkin in the town hall. Okay, time to get my Instagram pic. Marnie Piper made it to Halloween Town. I got my talisman. I'm all dressed up. I'm very excited. I can't believe this is a dream come true. We got the city hall in the back, the giant pumpkin that was in the movie. And I'm gonna get out of people's way so they can take their pictures, but this is the coolest thing I think I've ever done. It's making my Halloween. It's October 2nd, and it's just like the perfect way to kick off the month of October. And you guys are seeing this on Halloween day. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much for all the fans out there who just love the Halloween Town series as much as I do. It's my second favorite Halloween movie compared to Hocus Pocus, like number one, duh. But it's just like a magical day. Everyone is out and about. There's festivals going on. There's a bunch of other Halloween type stuff going on besides just the Halloween Town. But they even have like the vulture in the middle of the city hall and like pumpkins and everything. So I'm going to take you around. We're going to go to the dentist and we're also going to go to the Columbia theaters where they went in the movie. So join me for the magic. What do you see? Oh my gosh, and it's a cab from the movie. We gotta go get some pictures of that too. There's just so much. There's like food everywhere, little activities. I wish we had kids right now because that would have been so fun to bring our kids to the actual Halloween town. We found the theater that Grandma Aggie and Gwen were locked in and all the other monsters. So don't worry guys, I got you. I got the talisman. We're gonna go save you and put this in the pumpkin. We're on our way right now. One of my favorite quotes from the movie is magic is really simple. All you have to do is want something and then let yourself have it. We popped into this cute little vintage thrift shop and there are so many good finds here. I'm gonna be in here forever. I love this kind of stuff. These candle holders are kind of cool. I got a bunch of Halloween stuff in this little section over here. There's so much to look at. It's over Wallman but exciting. kind of love these and they match my little cape right here. But those would be fun to have for a festive night. Look how cool. There's just so many things. My dad and my uncle John would be in heaven and we're only on the bottom floor. I thought this idea was really cute to get a fall looking tree and then hang the trick-or-treat buckets from it. Oh my gosh, I love this little guy. This little guy is so cute. I don't know. I think I might need him. I think. I don't know why, but I feel like I do. Isn't he just precious? Okay, we really hit the Halloween section. Here's another spooky section filled with old gems and new Halloween gems. I really don't need any more mugs, but if I had to add a mug to my collection, I think this one is really cute because it's just simple with the stars. It's very 
witchy with the cauldron. I love this shirt. I love the Golden Girls and this is the Golden Ghouls. How funny is that? The one behind it is Beetlejuice as the Starbucks logo. Oh, this is funny. The play of friends, but with all the scary characters on it. These are by local artists. There's a creepy monster book and then a monster clock. I like her. She's sassy. Love these garland lights. Super cute, the little bats. Haven't seen anything like those in the stores. I spotted the Halloween Town movies. And then up here is Kimberly J. Brown's book that she wrote, Poppin's Pumpkin Patch Parade. This is kind of cool. It's a tapestry candle holder. That'd be kind of fun to put onto your dining room table. They also sell these adorable Halloween Town magnets that you can put on your fridge or they also have stickers. The sticker says, get in losers for saving Halloween Town. This is the name of the vintage store we were just in. If you ever come to Halloween Town, definitely come check this place out. It was really fun to just find some treasures. I'll do my little haul when I get back to our Airbnb. These, by the way, are called blow molds. I don't know if you know what that is, but I always love these blow molds. They are very popular, I believe, in the 50s. John, if you're watching, correct me if I'm wrong. But these are newer blow molds. Anytime I see the vintage ones, I just, it makes me my heart happy. In the movie, this is where the dentist office was, where the vampire was getting her tooth pulled. I think that's pretty fun that they still put the tooth out like that. This family did an entire aerial costume. It's so cool. I gotta show you guys. Look how cute they are! Just envision it, the school bus is flying down. It's lunchtime, Ryan's hungry, so he's gonna get himself some chili. And someone said that this is the best water they've ever had. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna try it out. He's testing the liquid death. It's water from the Alps. Oh my... Get another one. What the heck? This is what water's supposed to taste like. Ooh, that lady was not joking when she said this is the best water. I get this costume, but Ryan didn't understand like if people would think this is the costume from the second and third movie. I'm kind of regretting not doing the costume from the first movie because obviously that's where this whole town takes place and in the second movie they go back to Halloween Town but it looks a lot different than where we are right now so call me crazy but I may redo my costume or not redo but I may make a costume again from the first movie and then have my friend photoshop me into a photo that I take here of just the pumpkin in the city hall and then of course I'm gonna post both um, just cuz now I'm like shoo I should have just made the first one and second one and brought both and just like changed um, but this one is more iconic to me because it's in multiple movies actually it's not more iconic the first costume is more iconic this one's cool because it's when she officially becomes a witch and she's learning and she wants to go to school for it and all of that so I think this is more of like the witchy vibes compared to the very first one where she's just like in her Halloween costume even though she's not allowed to celebrate Halloween so I don't know how she had a whole get up. Oh wait, the grandma brought it for her. Yeah, I think I need to make it. Stay tuned for the Photoshop picture and then the one I got in this costume. There you are, Benny. I've been looking for you everywhere. Could you take me to Grandma Aggie's? I think it would be really cool if they recreated the town square right here with all the hay and the pumpkins to like really make it look exactly like the movie. Maybe they'll do that in the future, but that's my little tip for anyone who's watching who lives in Halloween Town. Made it to Halloween Town. Bye Halloween Town, that was amazing. I checked off my bucket list. Now we're gonna go and explore the little festival they have over here with all the different foods. And I wanna show you the waterfront down here. It's so, so beautiful. This is cute, Sweet Betty Sweets. This vendor has a bunch of Halloween ornaments. I never would do a Halloween tree just cause I kinda like to keep Christmas and Halloween separate. I'm not a fan of the Nightmare Before Christmas, but I do love this Dracula. And then down here, I really like like this mummy guy if I ever were to have a Halloween tree. 
I got a bonfire going with some pumpkins in the background. Things are feeling very festive. Okay, you know what? As we were walking out, someone said, are you Marnie Piper? And I said, yes. I said that nobody really knew who I was and you guys, you are just, I can't speak. So as we were leaving, someone stopped me and was like, oh my gosh, are you Marnie Piper? And I said, yes, thank you for knowing because I felt like no one was getting it and I was kind of second guessing this costume. She was like, no, Calabar's Revenge, duh, I'm such a hardcore fan. And then we took a selfie and she took a photo of my costume. So you know what, I guess, I guess I did do a good job. I wanted to share with you guys this waterfront because it is absolutely stunning and it overlooks the back of the city hall over there and they have all the vendors and stuff which we just walked through and that was really fun i thought this view was really beautiful and i didn't show it in my portland vlog so if you missed that vlog definitely go check it out and see some more of beautiful portland we are getting in the car and we're gonna go to grandma aggie's house benny take me to aggie's oh, i'm hot i don't need to i need to know where i'm going oh right sorry we actually didn't go to grandma aggie's house because it was about an hour from where we were but we stopped at the twilight house House. This is Bella's house from the movie and then I think we're gonna stop at Marnie Piper's home from the original Halloween town on the way back to Portland. Just imagine we're panning into Marnie Piper's house. Hear the music. Mom, I want to go out for Halloween. All the kids are running around trick-or-treating and that's it for the excitement but I thought we would just go and check it out. That's a wrap for it. This year is Kayloween. I cannot believe how quickly it flew by but they'll always be next year so I will see you next year for Halloween 2022. Bye! Have fun trick-or-treating or passing out candy. See ya!